Hello students, in form 1 previously, lesson 6, we were dealing with the sources of heat. We said uh, the basis of apparatus used as a source of heat include the Bunsen burner, and we were talking mainly on the Bunsen burner, it is parts and the function of the different parts of the Bunsen burner. So in lesson 7, we are dealing with flame. So what is a flame? So during the exam, we can be told, uh, define flame used in chemistry. So a flame or flame is a mass of burning gases, is a mass of burning gases. So types of flames produced by a Bunsen burner. We are told when a Bunsen burner is in use, it produces two types of flames, but depending on the amount of air allowed or entering into the chimney. So the first one is luminous flame. So the two types of flames produced by a Bunsen burner, one of them is luminous flame. So at all, this is a flame produced when the air hole is fully closed. So during the exam, you can be told, state the condition under which luminous flame is produced. So the answer is, it is produced when the air hole is fully closed. So when the air hole is closed, no air enters the chimney. No air enters the chimney, and the flame produced is bright yellow, large, and also wavy. It gives out much light. This is now the characteristics of that luminous flame. So a luminous flame has four zones. It has four zones or four regions. Four regions. So the first region, it is the blue zone. It occurs at the bottom of the flame. We said air, in, air near the flame rises rapidly and mixed with the, with the burning gas. This makes burning almost complete. The direct part is the almost colorless zone. The almost colorless zone of the flame consists mainly of unburnt gases because there we have limited supply of air. Then the third part, we are having the bright yellow zone. So the bright yellow zone or the bright yellow region consists mainly of unburnt thin particles of hot glowing solid carbon which give out light. So the, un the unburnt carbon particles form the black suit, which makes apparatus dirty during heating or when used heating. The last part, it is uh, where we are having the thin outer bell blue zone. So the gas burns completely in this region because it mixes with penalty of air. But however, this region is very difficult to see. It is very difficult to see. Let's come back to this region 3 or region C where we have the bright yellow zone. We are told it consists mainly of unburnt tiny particles of hot glowing solid carbon which gives out light. So during the exam you can be told uh, explain or give a reason why luminous flame produces much light or gives out a lot of light or much light the answer is this is due to the teeny particles of hot glowing solid carbon which gives out much light that is the answer if you are told give a reason why luminous flame produces much light that will be the answer okay the second flame is known as the non-luminous flame so it's produced when the air hole is fully open. So if you are to name the condition in which non-luminous flame is produced, it is produced when the air hole is fully open. When the air hole is open, more air enters the chimney and mixes with the laboratory gas. The mixture of the gases burns more quickly and completely. The flame obtained is bell blue in color. So the non-luminous flame has three zones. Remember briefly we said luminous flame has four zones or four regions. So the luminous flame has three regions or three, three zones. So the first zone or the first region, A, it's called the almost colorless zone, which consists of mainly unpumped gases. So region B, we are having the green blue zone, contains partially pumped gases due to the insufficient supply of air. Okay, but C, so the third part, it is the outer bell blue zone or the outer bell blue region. We are told the gas burns completely in this region because 
it mixes with penalty of air. The luminous flame gives out only little light. Reason? Because it contains few hot carbon particles. Yeah, that is the reason. Okay, to see now the diagram for that luminous flame and the luminous flame is here. So, but here we're having air hole closed. That's luminous flame. When the air hole is fully open, that's the luminous flame. So remember we said luminous flame has got four regions or four zones, while the luminous flame has got three zones or three regions. These are one, two, three. But in this other side, one, two, three, four. So as we have said earlier on, earlier on, we are having the blue zone, the almost colorless zone, the bright yellow zone, and the thin outer belly blue zone in the side of uh, luminous flame. In the luminous flame, we are having almost colorless zone, the green blue zone, and the bell blue zone. Those were the regions. Okay, so during the exam, they will draw for you this diagram that you are told, name the above flame. So you only check the number of zones that you have. If you have three zones, that means you are dealing with a luminous flame. If you, are, if you are having four zones, that means it is luminous flame. Okay, during the exam, they will draw for you and you are told a uh, name, part A, part P, part C, like that. So during the exam, they may draw like this. Then they write A, B, and C. So the first question they will tell you, name the type of flame above. That is non-luminous flame because we have three regions or three zones. So next you are told name part A, but P, but C. You are told name part A, but B, and but C. So that means you are supposed to say this one is uh, the... Okay, what we are saying is in part A, we are dealing with bell blue zone, but B, we are dealing with the green blue zone, and but C is the almost colorless zone. Okay, or they may give you the other one, the other side, So you are told, name the above flame. So this is a luminous flame because we have four regions. One, two, three, four. Then they will write for you A, P, C, D. You are told, name but A to but B. So but A will be the thin outer bell blue zone. Then but B will be the bright yellow zone. Then but C will be the almost colorless zone. Then but D will be the blue zone. And here we are having air currents, something like that. Okay, let's see now the differences between luminous flame and the luminous flame. During the exam, we are told state two differences between luminous and the luminous flame. So luminous flame produced when the air hole is fully open, fully closed. On the other side of the luminous flame, it is produced when the air hole is fully open. Then here, luminous flame is bright yellow in color. The luminous flame is bell blue in color. Luminous flame has got four zones or four regions. The luminous flame has got three regions. The luminous flame is large and wavy, but non-luminous flame is short and steady. Okay, a luminous flame produces soot, while the luminous flame does not produce soot. Luminous flame is noisy; it produces a roaring sound, while the luminous flame is quiet. Lastly, it's used for lighting. Luminous flame is used for lighting, while the luminous flame is used for heating. That is the end of our lesson.